In Class 3A, there is an interesting game on the schedule that uh, Jack Sparrow's young team has been one of the surprises of this mm -hmm. season. The way they, you know, they came to City View and the way they've kind of gotten better at, at different aspects all year long. They face Henrietta, who's got a veteran team. Yeah, in a non Cisco Eastland realignment, this would probably be for the district title. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, you know, I think this is a pretty big game. I think whoever wins this has the inside track for third. Henrietta's still thinking they could beat Eastland and get second, but they got to win this game first. I think that should be a pretty competitive game. I'm going to go with the more experienced Bearcats, but uh, I can see Jacksboro hanging in this one. Yeah, and, and months ago, not that Henrietta would have taken it like that, we'd have thought this was the 30 point game. And, yeah. and now it looks like a. Not quite a coin flip, but it looks competitive. Oh, yeah, I think for sure. I think if Jacksboro plays well, I mean, Jacksboro played well against uh, Breckenridge for a half, almost basically tied with Breckenridge, and Breckenridge has beaten or has played everyone tough, even the really good Brock, you know, Sweetwater teams. Yeah, so. speaking of Brock, that's where Bowie's got to go next and yeah. see how real that that performance they had at Boyd or against Boyd was. Breckenridge almost beat Brock, 2017. That kind of surprised me a little bit. I don't know. I'm not going to pick Bowie to beat Brock. I, I mean, I would think you got to go with the number two team in the state. But if Bowie, Bowie played him closer than anyone last year did in district, they played him within nine. You know, people forget that because Bowie didn't make the playoffs. So Bowie, I don't think, is going to be scared of Brock. I don't know if they necessarily win this game. But if they hang it close, their big game is that next week against Breckenridge. So in Class 2A, got lots of good matchups again. Uh, Seymour tries to follow up their road win. Yeah. Seymour's got Haskell. Electra's got to play Monday again. Uh, hasn't beaten Monday since 2002. I didn't realize that until the Electra coaches were telling me. That's been a long, long time. Uh, Archer, you know, they lost to Anson. They get Winthorpe at home. That's always a rivalry game. I think that's a game. Winthorpe has a lot of rivals. Right? Yeah, they do. <laughs> that that's, that's, happens when you win a lot. Yeah, even right. like you went to the Seymour game. I mean, Seymour yeah, Winthorpe is a big. Win for them. Yeah, I mean, that, they have, they've had a lot of so, rival teams. So, and it is something Winthorpe has had to deal with in a variety of sports that, that all these towns yeah, are so, ready to yeah. play. Yeah. I'm sure. I'm sure if you uh, talk to them, they'd be fine with that. They'd rather be that than a team that no one you know cares about playing because they know it's going to be. It's a just win. funny. It seems like every week yeah. we're talking about. Yeah, that's right. Winthorpe Petroleum game kind of a rivalry. Oh yeah, and, and that's because Winthorpe's <laughs> kind of earned that status. Oh yeah, and uh, so them them and Archer ought to be good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Petroleum's got a must win almost at Hamlin. I know there's still a lot to play, but I mean they got a. That's a game that looks tough, but I mean they start 0-2. It's going to be tough. Monday, you know, getting Electra at home. That's going to be tough for Monday. You know, shorthanded to win that one. Those are teams that I thought kind of were playoff teams a week ago, and with injuries and losses, could be 0-2. So. Yeah, and every game in that district from here on out, it seems like has the potential to change what the playoff picture oh, yeah. looks like. Yeah, and I mean, like you can't even look ahead. Like. Seymour Electra looks like a huge game if both of those teams win this week in two and zero. But then if they lose, they're both one and one. It's still a big game. It's still a big game, but it's not where like, they're playing. For, yeah, it's, yeah, it's not the, the marquee game or whatever. So it, it's a fun district still. Uh, I think there's going to be a lot of exciting games this week. So when we come back next week, we'll, we'll uh, check in on 7-2A and then the other districts here and see how they did.